And action. Wait there. It's not action yet. Could be a book. The glasses are steaming up. Well, not just that. We haven't got a woman. Wait there. One, two, three. Now, you know, we've told you before that Ethel yeah, yeah. used to be a milliner. And she's, she, well, she's just, oh, she's, she's actually, uh, she's just nicked my hat off my head. Didn't you? You but, Eh? You're wearing her toy. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, you, so today, on this nice foggy morning, it'll be nice when the fog's left, but people <laughs> have been coming down with their headlights on. On this nice yep, foggy morning, I got a snood. Stole them. Right. Fingerless gloves, no, remember? No. Stop, 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 stop. So, I got my hat, you know, gloves, and snoods, put them on the table. I turn around. What happened then? Well, Ethel took them, so I took it. You uh, stole the rice, though. Well, anyway, you remember the, the hat Tom bought me the other day that's too big? Yeah. Well, I figured out that if you wear another hat underneath it... Is that what you're doing? Yeah. You it, does, it doesn't fall I down. I bought a large. I should have bought medium, but... I know I, I know I get called a big head, I but... Know, but I, I didn't... To be honest, I didn't realise it, it was such a big, big hat. Anyway, once this fog's cleared, I'll be having my bikini on. But in the meantime... Let's go. We're going in that direction. It won't make any difference which direction we're going because we can't see anything. This is quite zoomed in because I feel like I'm having to get very close to you. You know, it's personal space and all that. I, I don't know, I think we're standing a bit farther forward. Hello. Anyway. Is that better? Come with us. I do believe the sun is trying to come out. And that boat behind passed us when we were moored up and it's churning out fumes like nobody's business. So, oh, bloody hell, the sun's come out. So we certainly don't want them in front of us. We left the sea. got a bit hectic for a while. It has, but anyway. We've got one in front of us. The Hello. One behind us that kept waving. Have you seen the ad? Remember this, the, the public information? Oh, look, Petunia is waving at us. Well, they were doing this, yeah. Well, However, they were doing that, well, but yeah, from behind. Yeah, but, but, but the reason why we didn't do anything was one, they'd moored up, so they're safe, they're not going to die. Two, I didn't want to. Well, they, were, they passed us before we left our mooring at Nantwich. Well, if they'd been in the water... there was smoke that was coming out. John, you know, There's if they'd no been in the water... no way I was having them in front of us because you know, we'd have had carbon know, monoxide poisoning. I know, but if they were in the water, I would, you know, I'd have gone and helped them. I would. However, your boat's at the side of the... You pulled it in, you're safe, we you're don't fine. Know. I don't know. Anyway, they didn't go, oh, look, Petunia, he's waving at us. Well, I don't know. Showing me age, look it up. It'll be on YouTube. John, I'm 37 now, how come I know about that crap? I think you've shown me the bloody video. I've shown you the video. Do you know, this is the thing. Anyway. Leave me with old man. We haven't got any fog lights on. Anyway, on this very poignant day, because it's, are we all saying what it is? Not really. It'll go out in January. Well, I'd like to say what it is. Today is the day that I would have been born, I think. I'll have to ask my mum what I'm sure it is. It's the day that you would have been born? You mean your birthday? Yeah, but I was, I was early. I was a few weeks early. It's true! This is my mum's due date. I'm sure it is. Come on, back in quick.
I've never been here, ask you something. Yard? What do you think of the weather today? What is it? The weather? What out for a breakfast? It's none of your business. Oh, what, what did you have for your breakfast this morning? I want to ask you another question. I've never asked you this before. What's the saddest film you've ever watched? The saddest film? Well, the one that makes me cry is... Um, is it Pete Forward, where the little boy dies at the end? Oh, God, you cry your eyes out. It's the truth. And I'm sure it's the little boy out of there. I don't think I... I think you made me watch that once. Oh, God. No, it, oh, I honestly, just... it gets you when, when the little boy gets stabbed at the end. Oh, God. You've ruined the ending for me now. You'd never watched it. What's your saddest film? Born Free. Born Free. And even now, if I hear the theme <laughs> tune, I burst into tears. And I, I went to see that at the Alhambra in, uh -huh. in Longton, if anybody knows. Longton? Uh, Longton, Stoke-on-Trent. When I was 10, and I went on my own, my mum and dad said, here, here is two bob. I'm telling you now, take it, I'm telling take you now, off to the if flicks. I had a 10 year old son, it might have been all right in your day, but these days I would not let a 10 year old. Oh, in my day. I wouldn't let a I, ten year old go into, into Longton town I've, with money, he'd never come back. I failed the audition for a chimney sweep when I was ten. But yeah, I still got born free. Oh, I have to turn it off. Do you? I cried all the way home. What's your guilty secret film, the film that you love that, that you'd be embarrassed to tell people? I haven't got one. I have. Go on then. I like a sister act. I said it. Okay. Oh, well, it was a very good 30 years ago. Although, sister act one, I watched it on a VHS. Sister act two, for some reason, my mother, had, we, we went, and I don't like loud noises, so I was hiding and covering my ears. Can I tell you something more about the Alhambra? You know when you have tickets? Yeah. Well, they didn't have tickets, they had little washers, because See, see, this is nothing new, it was recycling. Paper tickets got chucked on the floor in the bin. You, you went to the kiosk and you, and you, you, got you, a, a you washer, gave you so six you, you gave a washer, yeah, yeah, and you passed it to the usherette that was stood by the door and she said, get down there and don't make a noise. And then those things went back behind the counter and were sold again. When recycling, when Gre Greta, grow up. Be nice about Greta. Oh. She can't help it, it's not her fault. She can't help it if she's... What, what her mum tells her. Anyway, here ends today's Might news. Might have bleeped that because, ah. because some people yeah, like I've it. got a comedy boy. We don't do this to win friends, Tom, you know that. If we, if we did this to win friends, we wouldn't know, have any. No, no, before you... Oh, oh, well, no, right. Right. The thing is, what, what makes me laugh is, the people that go on about being an eco... I say, I'll do my fair share, you know, I don't even eat meat, but that's my choice, right? So, I do my fair share, but then people tell me, and it's usually the people that have got, you know, go on fancy holidays, got 12 kids and whatever, they tell me, I can't live my life. This is a rant, folks. No, but, why can't we all just do little changes, so everyone do little changes and then it becomes a big change, rather than say that I You're can't... wasting my battery here. Saying that I can't have a diesel car because I'm killing the planet. Well, I've also, I've well also, you've got a petrol I car. I've also got a petrol car. But I've got a hybrid, right? You say this every time we do the a video. Electric and petrol, and it's terrible for the for my mile per gallon, especially when that new petrol's coming. So I have to go in John's bloody Mercedes. Diesel. Oh, that's your excuse, is it? Well, yeah. Next. <laughs> I, I know it's a few weeks ago now, but. We'd just like to say hello and a big thank you to Bernadette and Keith from the Tiller people. I can't believe that, that I mean, they're amazing, I can't believe they've watched us. Well, we'll be honest nice. with you, and Bernadette and everyone, Keith. Yeah. You are, we're not grovelling, but you, you are so the ex are. expert yeah, at the boating that we actually thought that you'd think that we were a pair of idiots. <laughs> yeah, but we are. <laughs> but that's us, you know. And but so we were very, very surprised, yes, we were. pleasantly welcomed when you very kind of said that you enjoyed watching us. And I think I did say in the comment, but that, that meant a lot to us. Yeah, this is getting a bit sick. All right, 
too sickly. Yeah, but, but thank but, you anyway. No, but yeah, thank you so much. I'm not doing my impression of the Invisible Man. But when I breathe out, I can't see where I'm going. Because the sun has come out. This is a nice cruising day. Oh, it's over here, Chesh Cheshire is a wonderful county. Monday's. We've got a USB C that's a dodgy. Oh. A dodgy cable. I better switch off then. We've got a dodgy USB cable. We might all implode. Right, we just arrived at Hat Green Lock. Uh, Tom's got off to walk down. There was a, a boat passed us not long ago, so hopefully it'll be empty. But we're in no hurry, because we're still low on electricity. I think, see, this, this winter cruising's all right if you can move every day. Well, winter, autumn. Because we're not getting any solar. But because we had a storm the other day and we spent two, two days in Bar Bridge, we ran a bit low on electric. And I reckon that's a four hour cruise to top up again. And we're, Ethel! And we haven't done a four hour cruise. But never mind. We've got gas light. We've got a gas television, you know. We haven't. Don't know why I said that. There appears to be a boat just going in. I can't see, I've got sun in my eyes. So I'm going, I'm going to have to reverse a little bit into this hole. Because otherwise I'm going to peak too soon. And you don't want that. It's going to kill me. These cost 50 quid in the sale. And I only took them off and the arms come off. I'm going to have to do a Jack Duckworth and hope he doesn't notice. It's busy at Hat Green. Hang on. Oh, Ethel's just had some of her fans. And you miss this. Is that not bad? We're all doomed. Yeah, apparently there's, there's a flotilla from Nantwich Boat Club. And they've all been that way for the weekend and now they're all going that way. But the pound between uh, Pat Green 1 and 2 isn't very big and there were four of us in it because they shut, they shut the, the gates but they were being very economical with water because they've got two boats in anyway warmed up a bit just down to snood now but if she sees it she'll want it on so Nice steady cruise to the bottom of all them. Tom's upset because apparently I have broken his sunglasses. But I, you heard it here first, folks. Can, can you, I'll buy you a new pair. Because you know them Amazon drivers that earn 3p a month. Listen, they're FC UK, but let's just let's be a bit dyslexic about this and miss the bloody letters around. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, FC UK meets the lessons about. I think that's very rude. <laughs> anyway, I just checked we're still only on 76% electricity, so we're going to need more than one shilling. How have you broken me three places? I took, I took them off my head. 
he doesn't break his own things. Oh no, never. So he, he stole my snooze, and now he stole... It's not a snooze. It's nude. A, it's a snood. They were very fashionable in the 19th century, along with muffs, but muffs went out of fashion as well. Well, they've never been in fashion for us, have they? Oh, hang on. Next. So we've just passed, passed quite a lengthy fishing competition without upsetting anybody. Oh. I'm warming up. I think the snood might have to come off next. So we're still on our aim to find two bob for the electric meter. going. Just passing a uh, cool pilot visitor moorings and it's actually quite busy but I'm not sure when the 48 hour moorings turn into 14 days. Mind you not that anybody might take any notice but we ain't staying here because we're hoping that that one down by overwater will be nice and empty because her ladyship loves it down there. So we'll see. We're on 80%. We only need six months for the meter now and we'll be there. So we're just passing over water marina. Beautiful here. We've got a boat behind us. I don't know what speed they're doing because we're yeah, going well, faster to be fair, than we normally John, do. I can hardly see them that far away. Yeah, but they were three times that further yeah. away. We're just going down to Audlem, probably another half make a mile. Making mess of turning around. <laughs> we're going to wind and then we're going to come back and just the other side of that bridge. Oh shit. There's a lovely mooring. I'll see you then. We, we have successfully, eventually, winded at the bottom of the Audlin flight, being observed by the angry bull, which is enough to terrify anybody. To be fair, the bull was just looking because it's a boat. Yeah, she was waving. A bit like them, you know, no, she was oh, waving Petunia, at have you? <laughs> they were waving at No. We, we didn't get close. Can I have a drink, please? Because that's oh, taking it out. Saving. That's taking it out of Do you me. know, every time I pick my phone up, well, you've always got your phone in your hand, so chances are pretty. Miss the sunglasses break, it'd be nice. Actually, no, should we tell if we were? I googled it, there's a known fault with them, they always break in the same place. They have nothing to do with me. So now we've got a 20 minute cruise past over water again. There was only one boat on the moorings that we want, so there's plenty of room for a ladyship to be a knobhead. I don't know, it's raspberry flavour, it doesn't taste of raspberry. What, the knobhead? No, it just tastes like coffee. I can't taste the raspberry. Anyway, we'll probably say goodbye when we get there. Right, we're coming up to a chimbley. No, no, we're not coming up to it, we're coming what? up to a bridge. And we've left our little chimbley on. Are you alright? And it's it's been alright on the towpath side, but this is the first bridge that we're doing, because it's on this side of the roof. So we we might lose it. You know how I was Googling earlier on sunglasses and blah 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 blah? Yeah. Now every time I go on Facebook I keep getting adverts for expensive sunglasses that I'm not going to buy. Well, ignore them. You might be looking for chimpleys in a minute. What's she going to look like with it? On her head? Yeah. Well, I don't mind as long as it doesn't go through the window if it comes off. We'll see. We'll report in a few moments because the bridge is just there. 
Oh, I don't know why I worried. Because there was about two foot clearance off the chimney and the arch of the roof of the wall of the chimney of the bit of what, what, whatever that's called. Ooh, old one. No, old one. Oh, they, they might sell provisions. I don't know. Anyway, we're just coming up to our. Yeah. What? Can you just tell? Just have a quick look again. Yeah, I want to know how many sixpences we need to oh, collect for the meter. On me back on it. Eighty-eight point nine. Ah, oh, that'll do. That's fine. Three hours, because I'd figured out a four-hour cruise would top us up, but we've only done a three-hour cruise, but that'll be all right, right till tomorrow. I'm going to be there. Where? Right down there, where that orange. And this is why we like this mooring. Look at that. And the sun's come out. Sorry about the shaky hand. It's the only one I've got. But there you go. That'll do nicely. <laughs> 